I actually thought this fight would have taken place in the following three uh, ones, but oh well. They're very strong, but not unbeatable. The Ortonax's output is stable, the auto maintenance function is still working, and both Brynhild and Napoleon are providing me with extra protection. I can still fight. I'm not going to shut down. Not before we bring down that demonic sword. Let's keep up the pressure. Right on. I can tell he's feeling the pain now more than ever. But I've still got some concerns. How are you doing, Brynhild? Think you can keep this up? That could be a bit difficult. I never thought even Sigurd could be this formidable in a time of war. I thought I understood. But clearly I was mistaken. The Sigurd I knew was from peacetime, when he never so much as went on an adventure. I never imagined facing off against Sigurd with his demonic sword would be so daunting. Oh, what a magnificent hero. Oh, what a frightening man. This is no good. In the face of such a strong, confident warrior, I... I have no choice but to set my soul ablaze. Odin Seal prototype engaged. Well, where's all this magical energy coming from? The Odin Seal prototype, a power given only to Sister, not us. Sister, Sister Brynhild, why would you truly go so far to defeat us? I just detected a massive surge of magical energy. What in the world is going... Wait, is that... The Odin Seal, one of the primordial runes from the Age of Gods? Of course the Deus Ex Machina knows exactly what it is. Or not Deus Ex Machina, but the Deus Ex Dictionary. It's got to be hundreds of times more powerful than modern runes, especially. It looks like a spell from the Age of Gods, closer to true magic than magecraft. Using that energy in a spell would be one thing, but if you let it all loose at once, it wouldn't just destroy your spirit origin, it would... Annihilate my soul? Yes, it would. Eh, uh, we'll summon her again later. Thank you, Vane. You are so very kind. But this is what it means for me to put my life on the line. Forgive me for making you wait so long, Sigurd. I am finally ready to express my love and kill you once again. What a shame. Here I thought we could still have some fun together. But then you went and pulled out one of Odin's tricks. I've had enough. No more play fighting. Time to die. Hold it. Hold it, Saber. How many times have I told you? You're only supposed to kill the servants, but you were going to kill everyone, weren't you? Huh. Why, hello there. Is it, if it isn't my beloved Ophelia. You haven't changed a bit, Archer. I should have killed you when we first met. But I do commend your efforts, much as I hate the result. You just had to go and bring Brynhild here, didn't you? You honor me, ma chérie. Ha <laughs> ha! It's enough to make me cry out of sheer gratitude. Ophelia! I see you're here again, Mash. Why? Why did you come? It's our duty. Duty? You mean you feel like you're honor bound to protect humanity? I don't know. I haven't met enough humans to say whether I feel any obligation to them. But even if we end up destroying this lost belt as a result... Even? If? If we're going to. We can't give up on our, our world, just like the Yaga and their frozen world didn't give up their survival. No matter what happens as a result, we've decided to hold our heads high and keep moving forward. Yeah. Like master, like servant, I see. I can practically see you buckling under the weight of your guilt, yet you meet my gaze unblinking. You really have grown strong, Mash. I'm nothing like you. I could never be like you. But I still cannot step aside. What a me. Lord Kirsch made a decision and I refuse to betray his faith in me. Uh-oh. Here comes her mystic eye. 
phenomenon shuffing off the Odin seal. What a marvelous primordial rune! Ich will ist non males glas and shin. My rune is weakening. You shine too brightly. That's why this eye of mine refuses to see that possibility go any further. Then she is rewinding phenom uh, phenomena, but but she can't be interfering with time itself. Even if it were a noble color, a jewel rank mystic eye, controlling time should be impossible. Lots of yelling. <sighs> That's it. That's what I like to see. Your pathetic spirit origin can't handle the Odin Seal prototype. Now that Ophelia stopped it, all that's left is your spirit core tearing itself apart, huh? That's it. Squeal. Writhe in agony. You deserve to crawl on your belly after reducing yourself to nothing more than a human woman. Sick. Gerd. <laughs> No, it's all right. I'm not finished yet, Thane. Please, it's dangerous for you to worry about me like that. Remember what I said. I told you to let me handle her mystic eye, and I meant it. Phenomena, shuffin off. No, no more. One experience with your eye was more than sufficient. Reinitializing Odin Seal, re-engaging, your eye will no longer lead me astray. You aren't truly rewinding phenomena. No, it's more a matter of your determining their possibilities. And in that case, one can deal with it like so. You restarted it, but your servant your spirit core is tied directly to your brain and heart. Restarting the Odin Seal now would mean completely destroying your spirit core. Sister, wh what are you? You can't see it anymore, can you? That is because I have narrowed its possibilities. I'm s translation, please. I have seen powerful magical eyes before, so I will not back down in the face of more even should they belong to a foreign god such as Balor. Even were my father himself looking down upon me, I will still kill Sigurd. Out of the way. You're chatting for a damn walking doll. Sigurd. No way. That's impossible. She... She actually fixed her mind in place. She decided there was only one path forward for her and cut off any other possibilities. How can she do that? I still don't understand what your eye does. I doubt any ordinary human could cut off possibilities through sheer force of will. Not even an ordinary demigod could pull that off. But a demigod mad enough to burn herself alive? Well, she just might be twisted enough to wield a demonic spear. Sigurd, Sigurd, Sigurd! Sister. To you who walks the path of evil, I offer up my fire, my madness, and my love. Till death do us part, Brynhild, Romantia. Brynhild's spear is growing and changing shape. That must be her noble phantasm. This spear made for taking warriors' lives. Damn, it's huge. Look out for this shockwave. This is my killer spear. The spear made to kill the heroic dragon slayer. The love of my life. Sigurd, by virtue of who you are, it is impossible for you to avoid my blade. 
It is this great spear, its weight reflecting with the depths of my love that will end you in one blow. It's done. Nice try, but that's not going to work. What? H how can that be? That was Brit Hill's noble phantasm, the hero killer. And she just used it on Sigurd, the very man it was created for. It couldn't possibly have missed its target. It sure killed him. So then how is he still alive? That noble phantasm of yours was definitely impressive. But unfortunately for you, I'm not Sigurd. What? But unfortunately for you, I'm not Sigurd. I'm not even one of those hero types the Valkyries yearn for. What are you saying? Ophelia, release my second limiter. Quickly, this spirit origin won't last long. Personally, I don't mind if... No, I won't let that happen. I can't let your body be destroyed. As long as you're in this Lost Belt, you must remain my knight. Four Spirit Origin Ascension, final limiter release. Vanquish all who stand in, your in our way, my knight. So then who the fuck is he if he's not Sigurd? Final limiter released. Commencing eradication, utilizing heroic spirit, spirit Sigurd's full cup. Capability. Ah, oh, I feel so much lighter. It's so nice to finally be rid of that awful mask. I can't imagine why he'd want to wear something like this. <laughs> what a nut job. Well, well. So that's what you really look like, eh, lover boy? I see Graham's change color too. And it looks like you're putting out exponentially more magical energy than before. Ha! You start to be fun. I even like the glasses. I hate that the glasses actually have a lore reason for existing. A stupid lore reason, but a lore reason nonetheless. They make you look smart, even sensible. No matter how viciously you're wielding your demonic sword, maybe I should try them myself. Ha! Ah, you mean these? I'm told they signify the wisdom of the gods. Some such. I, I doubt, doubt they, they look, look good on you. I don't know. I think they might. Well, how about this? If you can kill me, you can try them on and find out. Feel the power of my demonic sword. Did he just create fire by swinging his sword? Sorry, guess I went a little overboard with the trash talk. I meant to dodge out the way, but I was a little too slow. It's okay. Luckily, I was able to raise my shield in time. Master, did you see that? <laughs> did he make that fire with a rune? Th that's true. Rune Mage Kef relies on drawing sigils and patterns to shorten the incantation. But when Sigurd created that fire just now, he didn't write any runes. Sigurd? No, you aren't Sigurd. You are... Sometimes ice and snow can cause people to freeze to death. People must learn how to survive the cold if they want to make it through the winter. But without ice and snow, there can be no spring. Without them, the earth can't rest. So you mustn't hate them for being cold. One day, the sun will shine bright again, bringing with it warmth and blessings. Yes. Yes, I think so too, Sigurd. People, we can always wait if we must. In the meantime, we can always dream of spring flowers. That's right. Nature is bountiful and varied. There's very little, little in it that's completely one-sided. Sometimes it sides with justice. 
Others, it can be wicked and cap capricious. And I, I never learned how to pronounce that word. But. But what? Fire is the one thing that is best left alone. Fire may have a gentle side, providing warmth that helps one get through the winter. It may even be able to guide people to prosperity. But for my part, I don't think I'll ever make use of fire runes. I've given you a great many runes. You should be capable of all manner of things. You should be able to wield fire far better than humans. And yet you choose not to? Yes. I know that this may be hard for a demigod to understand, but... Humans need to fear fire, because fire can consume everything. Swords, lives, love, and sometimes even fate. That's why fire runes are the one kind I will never use. I actually kind of hope the twist here is that this is... Um... The dude who was masquerading... As Sigurd. Was he masquerading as Sigurd? No. No, Sigurd was masquerading as him. I don't know how they're going to twist this. Now they might actually say it is the guy that she ended up marrying in the first place. Sigurd! 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 No! No, you aren't him! You couldn't be him! Who are you? Who do you think, Brynhild? I assure you, I truly am Sigurd. <laughs> <laughs> what pitiful creatures humans are! If only you were a god, you would know what this fire in my soul signifies. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful! <laughs> How unsightly. I can't stand to look at you any longer. 